Hello all, this is Shiv Shankar and you are watching Instructor Stema. Today we are going to see how to make a traffic jam game in Scratch. Before we make that, take a second and smash that like button and share this video to all of your friends and also subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to receive my videos. So now, let's get right into the video. So first we will use the cat as the sprite so don't delete it. Now let's make the backdrop. So I basically already uploaded the backdrop. If you want this backdrop go to the link in the description you will get this backdrop for entirely for free. Okay. Nice. Next, what are we gonna do? Just um, get two cars. Car, you can just get these two cars. Okay, if you type in cars. It will not uh, show up. So yeah. Now we we'll just keep one over here. And keep another one over here. Nice. Now let's flip that by clicking flip horizontal. Okay. So now we are going to do is just resize the cat to 40 that will be perfect for this game the main part will be over here so that's why I'm keeping it to 40 and just change the x coordinates to 0 ok nice next let's start with the code so first go to events and the flag is select go to motion drag in go to x position y position after that go to control and drag in a for envelope after that what are we gonna do is just drag in a if then statement and drag in space key is pressed just duplicate that a bunch of times like four times like one two Oh, oh nice now it will save the project for uh, automatically okay now change this to up down left actually right left okay nice next go to motion drag in uh, where is it? Uh, so basically X means left and right Y means up and down okay so up means Y change Y by 10 duplicate it change Y by negative 5 and this should be 5 Next, drag in change x which is left and right. So, right means change y by 10, x by 10, and for left, change y x by negative 5. Negative, actually, this for right arrow 5 ok now let's test it out ok left right up and down perfect now let's start with the code for the green card ok good first go to events and the flag is clicked go to uh, motion drag in I go to x position y position block 
after that go to control drag in a forever loop after that drag in a a guide one second to x x and y coordinates okay now just change this to 259 scene yes it goes over there but if you put this now see it's going too fast so yeah let's just okay something is wrong over here Put it over here. And now let's see. Ah, that's the problem. So yeah. Just change this to 50. Okay. Nice. Now we are finished with the. Or not finished with this code, but we will come back to this. Now just drag this to here. Nice. Now see. Let's just copy and paste this coordinates to here. Or. Okay, so now we'll just make it to go over here. Okay, and copy this and paste. Maybe I'll see how I'm copying it. I will just use the shortcut keys Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. You may be asking, Ctrl V it should not be paste. Ctrl P should be paste. I don't know the Windows. You need to talk with uh, the Windows developers only on the Mac developers. Okay, 1.4 seconds. Okay, let's test it out. So, yeah, like that, we are almost done with the code. So, now we will just make a line it will be black just like this and just just to like 10 okay now let's bring it to the top it's the it's a specific coordinates which I don't know I think it's 80 hmm. ah yes it's a specific coordinates you can get in scratch okay now after we done that we just now uh, make it more difficult so now if we see it should tell game over right so we can do that by just clicking the catch right and do this code 
Uh, go to events. Drag in a when the flag is clicked. Block and drag in a forever loop. And also, uh, also drag in a wait until block. Okay. So go to sensing. Drag in touching. Actually drag in a or also or else it will not work properly mm. hmm okay so yeah just duplicate it just change this to the far spreads like that and duplicate it again and drag in a note and drag this in okay now just go to variables just delete my variable make a variable called score you can use also cloud variables but for the sake of this video i will not use it and just drag in change score by 1 and drag in set score to 0 wait oh oh sorry uh, don't do this but we will use this variable for another thing so let's make a sprite called game over should be black black or white I think black will be good game oh nice um, now we will just resize it like this and just change this to zero and change this to zero okay nice next go to the cat sprite go to con no event drag in a broadcast message block now go over here and just do this when the flag is clicked drag in that and when I receive message 1 drag in that and after that drag in actually go to looks and drag in show to when I receive message 1 show when the flag is clicked hide now let's see Ah, yes it's working but it's not stopping so yeah so you need to drag in a stop all block nice very good now we will go to the last part of the video to design the sprite to score when it touches the top and should reset the game to here okay for that go to sprite one and drag in and actually right click on the block and click duplicate oh no and do I accidentally uh, one of this sprite two sprite 
two and another strike. Two. Okay, do this, do that, and do this. Okay. Now just go to variables. Drag in set score to zero. One second, it's not going to be good. Okay. Now we just keep dragging a change score by one. After that, it should reset, right? So for that, just duplicate this block. and just drag in over here now let's test it out we are finally done with the game oh i'm a bit bad at this game so yeah wait one moment Oh yes. Okay, now let's do today. Oh no. Like I said, I'm not doing this again. Yes, now it's working. So yeah that's how you can make a simple and easy traffic jam game in scratch so thank you guys for watching once again i'm shiv shankar and you are watching scratch plus timer if you have any doubts please comment down below or go to my profile and by the way don't go to that other profile i was telling you i'm not gonna update that profile so just go to this profile called scratch plus timer 2 you can go to that profile and i have all of the same projects i i usually have so yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video and by the way one more thing if you have the skills and want to show off your skills to all around the world join scratch first time in digital media don't join the studio because it's for only um some of some of my uh, people i will show you in the future videos but scratch first time you scratch youtube team is basically a studio which i created to it was before called scratch first time team but now i changed it to scratch first time youtube team okay nice so yeah you can also ask any questions you have and please follow this studio and if you want to advertise your projects to your world just if you have one project you can advertise that only one time another project you can only advertise one time so like that only or else uh, i will uh, not take that because if you again again um, uh, what spam it again and again i don't like it anywhere so yeah and also don't be uh, uh, rude to other people and share your projects and make new friends and make a new project and follow i will change this to my original account i'm also responding to you to you also because uh, and the other because I'm not a, this is not they don't know that uh, this is not the this is the original uh, profile okay and follow this studio and subscribe to my channel so yeah thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video bye